It had books. The room where it happened. By the White House memoir by a man called John Bolt Bolton, a former U.S. National Security Advisor. I read it closely, and it clarified my thoughts. It confirmed that I had a story to tell. Now that I think back, I was the majority leader for just half of my political life. I owe it to the future leaders to speak about those early years of their life. Your Excellency, when I spoke to another friend about writing books, he went to the bookshop and brought me a book titled The Deep State, The Fall of the Constitution and the Emergency of a Shadow Government by a renowned New York uh, Times writer. I then called my researcher friend, and we sat down for hours, taking and drinking many cups of tea, cups of spiced tea, Your Excellency. You know you have taken that tea in my house. Chatting about this book. I think he, he read the pain, the regret, and the anger in my voice as I retold the major episodes of my life. He gave me an idea that I should call it not personal. As he left, he gave me a book entitled For the Record by the former British Prime Minister, David Cameron. And when I told another friend about the book idea, he said nothing personal doesn't sound good. It sounded vengeful. This marked my life, this made my life and my remarks easier. I called the book for the record because I worked in a house of records and I wanted to put everything on the record. Anyway, after three years in the works, this book is here, ready for launch. Today, Your Excellency, is a special day. I am so happy to be standing here to lift the veil about the country's politics and its leadership. Distinguished colleagues, guests, and book lovers, for those who have not read the book, I will not want to spoil it for you, but perhaps I'll just tell you that it is the story of my life, my earliest memo memories as a young man in Garissa. You know, before the the CBC, the competence-based curriculum. I used to sit with my mom every night. All my siblings did. She did not go to school, but she used to check our homework after it was marked. She knew which questions I had answered incorrectly, and she taught me something which I apply to my family today. Also check that people know what they are doing and that they are doing it correctly. For instance, I don't speak French, but I harass my children when I see a cross or an X on their French homework. Those who have worked with me know that I seek to understand everything. Now you know where it all came from. And yes, my colleagues, and most of my cabinet colleagues sitting here and my boss, Your Excellency, Mr. President, and your deputy, you too have stories. And if we suffered a few years ago, is there anything to go by? You owe Kenyans books. I know that right now you are very busy, but when you get the time, please pay, uh, pen down your memos. Switching gears now, let me tell you that this is a book about politics, about power, about leadership and about public policy. I write about how I got started in politics. I have worked very closely with all the key leaders in Kenya, the late President Mwai Kibaki, former Prime Minister Raila Odinga, former President Uhuru Kenyatta, and now with the current president, my boss and friend.